Hey everyone, this summer we decided to visit Harpers Ferry and hike Maryland Heights Trail. Harpers Ferry is about an hour drive from DC area and it's always packed as it has something for everyone. If you are a history buff, there is plenty to see here. If you like water activities, you can do kayaking, rafting and tubing. And if you are into hiking, there is Appalachian Trail for you. Parking for Maryland Trail is closed, so you have to park at Harpers Ferry National Park. And parking could be a nightmare, especially on holidays. Closest parking is on the Harpers Ferry station and it will cost you 20 bucks. To access the trail, you need to cross the old railroad bridge. This is not an active track, but the track adjacent to it is. If you are lucky enough or time it properly, you can catch the train traffic on the other bridge. And once you cross the bridge, you turn left and walk approximately half a mile along the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal towpath. I guess my dog couldn't see the steel rail case on the other end and it wouldn't step on it. He's a bit on the heavier side, so we had to carry him down. You can access Potomac River along the dirt road, though it's a steep climb. I would not advise if you are walking with your pet. After a 15 minute walk, you reach the start of the trail. You take the wooden bridge, cross the Harpers Ferry Road and access the trail. Watch out for the car traffic as it is pretty narrow road with two-way traffic. Obviously, leash uh, law applies if you are hiking with your dog. And look at that, West Virginia charges 75 bucks and Maryland only 25 bucks. That's funny. This is a great trail for a beginner. The initial grade on the trail is fairly steep, but it flattens out pretty quickly. Most of the historic signs are not legible due to the cracking, I guess due to the weather elements, but you'll be more interested in the scenic overlook and thick green woods. There are no water fountains, restrooms or trash bins along the trail, so clean up after your pet and be prepared to carry out all your trash. Trail paths are well marked, cool and shady. The initial one is green, then it turns into blue and red. If you like more challenging option, you can follow the blue trail. It's fairly steep. I guess it adds another 3 miles and takes you to the stone fort. We decided uh, not to do the blue trail as we were a bit tired and we took the red one to the scenic overlook. It would be totally interesting to do this trail during our fall and winter. Both will offer uh, totally different views. And I guess you need to be a bit more experienced if you want to do this hike uh, during a snow season. I was hoping to see some wildlife, but other than a couple of deers and the constant sound of uh, cicadas, I couldn't find much. Once you reach this point, trail starts to descend and becomes more rocky. This part of the trail is probably a bit difficult compared to the rest and this is when I realized my running shoes just don't cut it and I need a good pair of uh, hiking shoes. Anyway, once you reach the overlook, you forget everything and the scenery is just breathtaking. If you want to avoid crowds, you better come here early. It took almost 4 hours for us to complete the trail and once we are back at the station parking, we let our guy cool down and he loved it. Trail is dog friendly, well other than the spiral uh, steel staircase at the end of the footbridge, most dogs including ours had tough time coming off the bridge. Come here early and enjoy your hike. Thanks for watching.